How's it, Indian Cowboy? DocSports.com coming at you on Sunday, July, July 18th, as we get this video to you every day around this time. Still at the hospital here, as uh, we uh, we will be uh, checking out soon. So have the uh, normal videos for you back in the office, uh, probably as early as tomorrow. But uh, have your free pick winner just a second here between the Red Sox as they hook up against the Yankees. Uh, a couple things that we want to share with you here that um, obviously it's, it's a late night game, and it's one of those things that you have to look out for. Uh, for possible public fades on Sunday nights. Uh, same thing that works out in the NFL and college football, and obviously we're very excited about the football season that's about to come. Uh, we'll have the IC8 football card, college football, and NFL. It's going to be exciting. We do have a seven-unit baseball game today that's currently going on uh, between the Braves and the Rays. Hopefully that'll hit for us. We're coming out back-to-back -back baseball winners. Nice winner on the Brewers and our Reds over yesterday. And the day before was on the Astros, and they got it done over their White Sox. So hopefully three straight winners today. We'll see what happens today. Nice uh, soccer. Now, UFC, we went 1-1 one one yesterday for a small amount of uh, units, uh, uh, but a small winning UFC car as it relates to soccer. Nice call in Honduras, plus the 115. Uh, nice 4-1 run in soccer. Remember, we're 4-2 and two in the Gold Cup for about plus 950 or more than that. In the Euros, we were plus 615, so it's been two really good tournaments so far, and hopefully we'll continue uh, as it relates to, to soccer. Uh, as well so let it be baseball in the nba we missed our play yesterday we'll try to close out the nba season on a positive note here but we have a lot going on nice winter we hit the uh, trifecta here yesterday in the deanna stakes and horses uh so between football baseball nba uh horses uh soccer wnba canadian football mma and kbo uh, it's going to be pretty awesome awesome stuff so uh, yeah, looking forward to all of that. And of course, the next NBA selection is on game six. And uh, that's about it. Let's get your free pick winner today as uh, we try to keep an eye on the Tampa Bay Rays. If you want to root for them, you can for us. And hopefully, let's try to get you a nice free pick winner today. For your free pick today, is I like the Yankees today to get it done. Um, on this video, we're going to share some thoughts. And I'll have more thoughts for you tomorrow. But on this video, we're going to share your thoughts between the Red Sox and the Yankees and then talking about Chicago, Arizona, San Diego, Washington, and Miami and Philadelphia. As it relates to the Red Sox and Yankees, take, keep an eye on the Yankees today. You know, Perez has really struggled of lately. Uh, he gave up two home runs in his last game. Uh, they lost 2-11 to to Philadelphia. Uh, he could bounce back, but this has been some time coming here. He was 5-8-1, five innings, eight hits, and one run against the Angels. Got a bit lucky there. Um five innings seven hits and two runs against the royals and um you know three innings and uh, six hits against the yankees didn't give up a run but he struggled i just can't imagine him con continually getting lucky by giving up so many base runners and i know that tyan has a 4.9 era but i really think he's pitching well right now he came over from the pirates the yankees believed in him they thought they were picking up a really good pitcher early in his career so they can have him for the duration uh he's showing up late in the season he gave up two home runs last game which i love i think he'll bounce back here uh, he rarely has back-to-back -back games where he gives up a home run. Take a look at his splits. He doesn't give up back-to-back -back games of home runs. Uh, he went seven innings, four hits, and one run against Seattle, which is fantastic. I think the Yankees play well today. And I think Perez is the weak link, and I think the Yankees get it done today. Chicago and Arizona. I like Arizona as the dog today. Remember, Kelly has beaten San Francisco, Milwaukee, and San Diego, all, 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 all playoff teams. So even though Kelly's on a horrible team, and maybe he'll be dealt by the deadline, he's a fantastic pitcher. So you have to give him the benefit of the doubt here, as he's clearly, as he is definitely, clearly the better pitcher here. So I like Kelly in Arizona here to get it done. Um, he comes off loss against the Dodgers, which is great, great value with him too. I do think both these pitchers pitch pretty well today. Um, and typically, Kelly, anything above seven hits, he typically bounces back. But I um, thought the total would be seven and a half here, but the total is actually nine, surprisingly, uh, which means I think Arizona is going to score some runs, like Arizona today. San Diego and Washington, like the under there. Musgrove comes off back-to-back -back wins, but I think he bounces back here. Scherzer got rocked against San Diego his last time out. Three innings, five hits, and seven runs against the Padres. I think he'll pitch better, too, with a little bit of revenge. Plus, the last time these two teams hooked up, the game went over, and then there were shots fired, so it got postponed. And the game before, that was 24-8. to I think the under is probably what's going to happen here. Two pitchers showing up, uh, finally, and less offense in this game. Finally, Miami and Philadelphia, I like the under there. Miami won the last game 7 nothing. Remember, Philadelphia lost 0-7 to last game, so the Philly pitching staff should be motivated, especially coming off... Um, you know, a game where they gave up seven runs starting and uh, bullpen. Uh, this is the rubber game. Garrett was four innings, seven hits, and two runs the last time out. He struggled. Wheeler struggled against the Cubs as well. Six innings, eight hits, and four runs. One of his worst starts of the year. Put it all together, and I like the under in that game as well. That's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys do well. Free play and three extra leans. Tomorrow I'll probably have free play and probably uh, 
yeah, five extra leans tomorrow. So hope you guys are doing well. You need cavalry working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Twitter followers, the consensus on what side the public is on. We curate that from a whole bunch of different websites and put it up for you for free on our Twitter. That's already up there for you. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.